Good morning, everybody. It is time for another art before breakfast, and I slept in today. I didn't get a good night's sleep last night, so I slept a little late today. But I'm here because I had a really exciting idea, something that I really enjoy doing. In fact, I did a 12-minute tips on this technique, um, not this particular project, but the technique. And that is coloring in uh, black and white images. Now, I happen to have a piece of tissue paper here. I'm going to move stuff out of the way so we don't have shadow. Um, I have a piece of tissue paper here that has a floral on it. And what I'm going to do today is take my colored pencils and color this in and shade it along the way. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So that's today's project. Um, before I get started, good morning, everybody. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. And if you're returning, as I know many of you are, a lot of people have told me they've been watching this series. Um, welcome back and know that I, as always, appreciate your support. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is find some washi tape that isn't my favorite. And not that any of them are not my favorite, but one that I don't use a lot. And I'm going to washi this down so that it doesn't, um, so that it doesn't move around. All right, let's use this one. Actually, I use this one quite a bit, but it's pretty neutral, so it won't take away from the coloring that I'm doing. So let's put this one down here. That'll also keep me from moving my project around <laughs> to where I uh, get it out of camera. And we'll, it's got a little wrinkle, so I want to make sure to pull it down far enough and put that down there. Okay, we are all taped down. We are ready to go. So the materials I'm using today, I've got my Prisma color pencils, and I think I've got every color in the rainbow. So I've got my pencils. And then for blending, I have a product called Gamsol, and you'll see me use this in a little bit. This is what it looks like. Um, and if you work with color pencils, you may already be familiar with this. Um, or you may want to run out and get yourself some. It's a mineral spirits, but it doesn't have any smell. And then I have these um, tortillons. And these are... Um, paper round really really tight you can get them in the art section um, and these are what I'm going to use for blending and then I've got some sandpaper so that as I use a color I don't want to infect the next colors I use so what I do is I just sand down my tortillon to get the color off of there so when I use it again, it doesn't um, bring that old color over into the new color. So there we go. Okay, so I have this. I think this came off of a Tim Holtz. And my first choice is what color do I want to make this flower? And I think what I've done in the past, and it has turned out really pretty, I've done some... Crimson Lake. I've done some pinks and um, some like dark maroonish colors. And so I'm just looking through my pencils here. Pomegranate. That looks good. And then I want one that's really, really dark. Let's see what this one is. This is Dahlia purple. Mm, that not, might not be the right color. But I get three or four different colors. And goodness, I've got so many colors here. You'd think I would have the right Rogue Tuscan Red. Let's try that. And I'll leave the Dahlia purple out um, just in case. And 
So this is kind of going to be the color palette for our flower. Now I am going to take just a um, okay, I want to see what that is. That's the pomegranate. This is called, huh? It's called Process Red. So I didn't really get a pink pink, but let's see. I don't know if I like that one. That might be a little too orangey. That's Crimson Lake. And then, oh, I like this one. This one is Tuscan Red. And then there's the Dahlia. So I've got some samples there. I still want to find one other. I want to get like a lighter. Um, kind of a purplish hue. All right, well, I'm not going to belabor this too much because, not purplish, I want a, a pinkish hue. Um, and I'm not seeing anything that really struck my fancy, so... Um, let's just, Ooh, that's hot pink. I don't want that. This is lavender. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so there's my colors. Now, so the first thing that I'm going to do is start with my darkest color, which I think is going to be the pomegranate. And I'm going to go around and do some shading. And you can kind of tell where the shading is on this piece because there are lines. But just typically think about where the darkest spot on that piece would be. So like down in here. I'm not going to do the leaves just yet. Um... So we've got down in here, definitely over here. This looks like a petal, so I'll put some here. So I'm pretty much going around where they have the shading on the um, on the piece. And then definitely up in here, because this is the... This is the top, you know, this is the inside of the flower petals. So they're going to be pretty dark. Okay. And I can always come back and add more if I think I need to. All right, so there's our first color down. A few more places here. And then I'm going to take the next color. So this was the pomegranate. So I think I want to take the pomegranate crimson lake, I think is what I want to use next. And I'm going to take that. Now you don't want to have a super heavy hand when you're putting your pencils down. In fact, a lot of people will color, you know, like on the side like this, it's 
unnatural for me, so um, I'm just going to go around and fill in. And I am going to leave some light spots for one other color, one other lighter color. Kind of where the light would be hitting it. Put some of that there, put some of this up here. And when I start the blending, that's when you'll really see the magic happen. So this is lighter shading, so I'm going to use some of this lighter red on here. Up here, and then we'll leave the middle for the lighter, lightest color. But yeah, I like doing this. I used to do um, pencils a lot. I also have um, ink tense pencils, which I suppose you could use on this. I think it might be a little more difficult. I like using the regular colored pencils. Nope, actually I'm going to use this lighter color out here. Oops. Got a little bit over the edge, but we can use an eraser to take that off. There we go. Until it's all done and sealed, um, you can erase this, especially off of tissue paper. All right, let's use a little bit of this Dahlia kind of over here on the side for the real, there's a real dark spot. So I'm gonna put some of that purple over there. And some of that purple in here, down in here, and maybe some layering colors right now. I'm really concentrating, if you guys can't tell. I, uh, <laughs> um, let's go with this process red up here, which is kind of a pinky color, and some down here. So the point is just to lay down different colors, and then how we blend it will um, determine how the colors come out. Some will blend together, some will stay um, separate. So I'm just going around with this process red and filling in. And so this will give us a more realistic looking flower because, you know, flowers don't just jump from one color to another. They sort of blend. And that's what we're going to do. As soon as I get this last little bit of color down, we will start blending. All right, well, got this little piece folded over. And that looks like it's pretty darn good. And inevitably, I'll find something I forgot to color in once I start blending. But let's start blending. So that's our that's what our flower. Make sure you get a mental picture of what that looks like now because it's gonna look a lot different after we blend it. Coffee time. So it's Sunday morning, and I wanted to get up and do this. Oh, by the way, girls, I have, and guys, if I have guys watching, um, <clears throat> I have a sale tonight, and everything in my sale is all new. Um, I've been out shopping. So let me show you how I blend. Um, so tonight's sale starts at 6.30.
and Wendy will be selling with me as well so I hope you guys will come and join us now I left the leaves as you see I didn't color those in yet but I'm gonna start from the lightest color I'm just dipping it in the Gamsol and I'm gonna start from the lightest color and I'm just gonna blend down filling in any spaces that may not have pigment. Now, can you see how that just blend out? It's wet, so it will look a little different when it's dry, but I'm just going from lightest to darkest because I don't want to carry, well, unless I want to carry some of the dark down into the lighter spots, um, and I may want to do that. I may want to put some streaks of the dark up into the lighter spots but just be aware of which way you're pulling your tortillon because that's gonna determine um, where the color pulls. Now, watch on this bigger space here when I get to this. Oh, I gotta. Yeah, that's good. Now this pink is really kind of a bright I think this is the process red. So I may want to go back and put a few darker streaks up in there. Now this time I'm going to pull the red kind of down into the pink up here. But all we're doing is blending the colors so that instead of the pencil marks, you're just seeing the color. Okay. Let's do this one. So we're going to start up here at the top and just pull this. And you can kind of watch the magic happen before your eyes. Now I'm getting into a little bit of the process red over here. So it's a little bit different color. And then I'm going to take... And like I said, if you, you get this first layer down and you want it to be a little different, you can certainly go back and add more color. I think this is a peony. Um, I'm not positive, but I think it might be. Um, I can go over the black lines, like the edges. The black lines in the middle are shading lines, so those I definitely go over. The edges, I try to stay away from those if I can because it puts color on them and it changes them a little bit. And if I do that and the edges become dull, I'll just take a black pen and go over them to bring them out again. But look at how this is changing. Look at that, isn't that pretty? I think I definitely wanna have some other darker color up in here a little bit. And we've got these pieces up here. Like I said, I did do a 12-minute um, tips video on this process of using Gamsol with your um, pencils. if you guys want to check that out. Now I'm getting pretty red on here, so I'm going to take off some of this color so that I'm back to a pretty clean. And it doesn't take much of that Gamsol, but I bought that tin of Gamsol I have. I bought that probably 10, 12 years ago. And I've never had to refill this jar. So, um, oh, and this jar, what it is, I just took a bunch of cotton balls and put down in there and then I poured the Gamsol in so that I have something to kind of push again and rather than just sticking the tortillon right down into the liquid, um, it goes in and presses up against the, yeah, we definitely need to get something more than just that pink. Oh, and here's the purple, the real dark purple over here. That's pretty. All right, 
Look at how much different that looks. Now I need to do something in here because it's just a little too pink. I'm going to use the Crimson Lake, I think. Or maybe the pomegranate. So I can just go back over this and add some of this other color. Now this up here is really where the light is hitting, I think. And you don't have to worry too much about knowing exactly where the light is hitting. Um, just make it up, you know, where you want your lighter spots and where you want your darker spots. So I'm just going to go darken that up a little. I put a little bit of the light purple up here at the top. And I'm going to put a little bit of that lavender all around the top. And I still think it needs, it's this crimson lake. I still think we need a little bit more red down here at the bottom. And if it doesn't look like it's blended enough, again, just go over it with a little more Gamsol. And look at that flower. Isn't that gorgeous? I want to use um, not the purple. Hmm. And then if you can see, you know, little white spots going through, coming through, just, you know, play with it until you get it the way you like it. But I kind of like that flower right there. Although I'm not still not real happy with this. What's our, where's our pomegranate? Crimson Lake pomegranate. I just think it looks too pinkish purpley compared to the rest of the flower. And it can have some of those pinkish tones to it, but I think it's too much. So I'm going to take it up here just a little bit. Let me dry this real quick, and we'll see what our flower looks like. And again, this piece here, this piece, and this one down here, those are leaves. And so those would have to be done separately with some greens, obviously. There, I like that a lot better. So there it is, ladies. There is our colored flower. If you remember back to what it looked like when it was um, black and white, this is a much prettier piece. I do this all the time um, if I have black and white images. Now, the other thing I do, and maybe I'll do a morning create uh, art before breakfast doing this sometimes you'll get stickers <clears throat> or you'll get um fussy cuts that come out and they're just not vibrant enough you can take your colored pencils and add just a little bit to them with this technique if you want to spend the time to do that so what do you think, ladies? Let's see where we're at time-wise. We're at 24, so um, 
I'm not going to do the leaves right now. I will after I turn off the camera, but I do want to keep these to under a half hour if I can. Um, but you'll do the same thing. Just go and, um, you know, color them in with some different shades of green and the stem. Put the Gamsol on them. And actually, since we're here, let's... Oh, here's a whole bunch of greens. <clears throat> so I've got a lot of greens. I'm going to put my, in this case, I'm going to put my light down first. But it's such a small place. And usually um, that's how I would do it, is put the light down first and then the dark. I know I did it opposite in the flower. But just some different greens. We might as well go ahead and do it since we're here, right? That's a pretty light spot. There's some. Okay, I think that's it. Let me find one of these that might be somewhat clean already. I don't have to do a lot of prep work to it. Oh, now the other thing I want to do is go down the middle of this with something a little darker. There we go. All right, so I use, I don't know, three or four different greens just enough to give because you know leaves are not ever all one color so just you know blend the colors and as you saw up above if you know one color doesn't look quite right you can always go back and add more color so this leaf is clearly in the sun so we'll there there's our finished flower what do you think ladies give it a try if you've got some color pencils gamsol's really inexpensive you can get it at your art store um i don't know if it comes in a smaller container than this but this is 16 ounces if it does get a really tiny one because you won't use a whole lot of it but that's our flower and now i've got a piece of ephemera to use in a journal Thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And on the way out, if you'll press the, um, hit the thumbs up and give me a thumbs up, I would be most appreciative. Bye, ladies.